Ozone, what up, guys? Appreciate you being on here. Super excited tonight. Be known, be famous, get famous, all on today's episode. A lot of good stuff in store for you guys. Going to be giving away a Millionaire Mafia executive pen and a notebook as well. Be showing you guys what that looks like in a little bit. We will be taking your calls as well. YouTube, Instagram, if you want to be, have the chance of taking some calls, make sure you get over to my YouTube channel right now. We're streaming everywhere, Instagram, Facebook, YouTube. Let's turn the lights on in here. Hey, guys, get out pen, piece of paper, all of that good stuff, all right, because we're going to be learning quite a bit on today's show. All right, I think we're good there. Boom. All right, guys, super excited today. Who do we have on here? We got a lot of people on Instagram. Guys on YouTube showing up late to the party. We sent the emails out. Come on, guys, what's up? Okay, so I sent out a survey earlier this week. I put it out on YouTube. I put it on Instagram as well. And I had a lot of you guys saying to me, hey, how do I make content for all platforms? How do I get known on Facebook, Instagram, YouTube? What are the do's? What are the don'ts? How do I do that? And so today I'm going to go through, should you even care about Facebook or Instagram or YouTube? Which ones are more important than the other? What your agenda is? I'm going to be taking your calls, answering your questions, all that good stuff tonight. And I'm going to be giving away a Millionaire Mafia executive pen. These are actually really cool. They've got Millionaire Mafia original, cash flow is bay. Don't know if you guys can see that. I'll show you guys up here on YouTube. It might be kind of hard to see. Kind of hard to see because it's so, so shiny. All right. Millionaire Mafia original cash flow is Bay. Now this is limited production. There's only about 40 of these in the world and they're executive pens. They're not some little ballpoint pen that you get from Office Depot or Staples. So we're going to be giving that away, taking your calls, answering, answering all things entrepreneur related, scaling your business, making income online, building a successful brand. We did $2.3 million last year in 2019. I'm going for eight figures this year, guys. I'm going to go for eight figures, all right? Got to set big goals. Got to base all action, all intent on those big goals. I don't want to ever set a realistic goal and fall short of it. I want to hit a big goal, go after it like it's all or nothing. And even if you land short, much higher than that little realistic goal that you made, all right? So appreciate you guys being on here. This is the Ozone every Monday at 7 p.m. EST. No matter where I'm at in the world, if it's at home, if it's in the office, if it's traveling, I come to you guys every single Monday. You can expect me to be here doing a live show. Now, this is for YouTube. We'll sometimes share it out onto Facebook and Instagram. Instagram, you guys are lucky being on here right now. That's why you're seeing this at a little bit of an angle here. So really appreciate you guys. Hey, if you're tuning in from YouTube and Instagram, feel free to let me know who you are, what you do for work and where you are in the world. I know we've had a lot of viewers from all over the place. Some people have been in Europe, some people have been in India, some people in the United States, people have been all over the place. So hey, do not be afraid to step up. Let me know where you're from in the world and what you're doing, okay? Really appreciate you guys being on here. Get out a pen, get out a piece of paper, and uh, just be ready to learn, guys. I always come to you guys action-backed, full of content, and I always come to you guys bringing a lot of tips and tricks into the game. So I put out a survey two days ago, and I asked you guys what you wanted to learn. Now, your answers were what content works and then how to make it work on each platform. And then something else that you guys brought to my attention that you said you wanted to learn was how to reach a cold audience. So how to get in front of people that have never heard of you before and might not know who you are. And you guys said, hey, this is really important. I want to learn this. So tonight, I'm going to go over specific strategies for you to be able to learn every single one of these, okay? So we're going to talk about what type of content, video, picture, all that stuff, how long it should be, how to appeal to all algorithms. We're going to go over how to get it to rank on each platform and how to re reach a cold audience, which is extremely important because if you can reach a cold audience, guys, that means and be able to take in clients at that. That means you have a really profitable business. Okay, the ultimate test, the ultimate test is can you take your product or service or your industry to a cold market? If you can do that, then you've got a business that's going to sustain. It's going to be able to take hits. 
It's going to be able to have an infinite amount of growth opportunity there. It's going to be able to ultimately, if you're really thinking big business, it's going to be able to provide employment opportunities. It's creating opportunities. It's getting results for people. Okay. Because the reality is if you're growing a business and you're relying on just your warm audience, like there's very few people right now, for example, watching this on Instagram live, right? In the evening, my Instagram following is at its lowest. Okay. If I was relying on my warm audience to like make income on whatever I may pitch or product I present, it would, it, it wouldn't do me any good. It would be very, very, very bad. Okay. So you want to be able to get cold eyes on your offers, be constantly getting new people into your business, into your brand all the time. Because if you're not at a certain point, everything you're saying is regurgitated. It's repetitive. It's not working. Okay. So we're going to talk about getting to a cold audience as well. So let's go ahead and isolate the platforms. Okay. You got Facebook, Instagram, YouTube. People are talking about TikTok. We'll go into all of that. Okay. So let's start off. TikTok is obviously the new fad. And I call it a fad because I believe it is just that. It's a fad. Okay. TikTok owned by a Chinese company. I don't see a huge opportunity for growth there. As a matter of fact, everything that I'm seeing on TikTok points towards, hey, this really isn't working right now. I know Gary Vee said, hey, TikTok is the next best thing since sliced bread. It's going to take off. You guys are going to love it. Going to make a bunch of money. Going to be able to build a following. Yeah, 100%. Like, you can grow really well on TikTok because it's easy, because there's very few users compared to Instagram, Facebook, YouTube, et cetera. The problem is, the average user on TikTok is like 14 and it's literally for comedians and people that want to dance and show off their butt. Kind of like how Instagram has turned into for influencers. But the problem is the average user is like a toddler or in seventh grade and the ads platform, if, if, for those of you that are actual business people, okay, I know I get a lot of tire kickers on Instagram, right? <clears throat> a lot of you guys won't invest in yourself. You hide behind your emojis. You never put your money where your mouth is. You look for free shit all the time. Talking to you, Instagram. You got to get out of that mindset. Anybody got to get out of that mindset. That's what TikTok is. So when it comes to like, where should you focus your energy? Instagram, Facebook, YouTube. Focus, write this down. Please write this down because this is just a fundamental rule. You, you, you actually implement this rule, you're going to have success. Okay? Focus on the area that is most likely to create the highest return. I'm going to repeat that. Focus on the area that is most likely to create the highest return on your time, your money, and your energy invested. And that is not TikTok for any one of us. It's not. It's not. It's not. It's not. Okay? I'm not saying don't start looking at it a little bit. I'm not saying, like, don't pay attention to it a little bit. What I'm saying is the infrastructure is not there. It's owned by China. 35, 40% of the users are from Asian cultures, which are more into production than they are consuming. They're not typically buying your products, digital, physical, e-commerce, whatever. They're the ones making them. Average users, 14. Ads platform has poor infrastructure. I'm getting marketed burgers. I don't, I don't like have any expressed interest of burgers online. I shouldn't be getting those ads. I should be getting ads that I'm interested in. Okay. So TikTok, no. Where should you focus? Facebook, Instagram. YouTube, going to be my opinions, okay? Let me give you a few facts. We'll dive into the content. What type of content? What do you need to be putting out there? How are you going to be able to connect to people? How are you going to turn it into an income, okay? Here's what I see. YouTube, 2.3 billion people are on YouTube. 2.3 billion. Now, there is population somewhere around 8 billion, depending on who you're talking to. There's 2.3 billion YouTube accounts. Instagram, 1.2 billion accounts, Okay millions of people on Instagram every single minute. Facebook, 2.7 billion. Now, a lot of that population is going to co-mingle, right? Some of it's overlapping. Some of them are the same. The reality is each platform has a different context. So you want to be taking advantage of all three. YouTube is the platform where you can put out four minute, eight minute, 10, 15, 20 minute videos. And people are cultured to coming to YouTube to actually learn. So there's a huge level of interest to, to learn, for knowledge. People are coming to YouTube to, to, to solve their problems, fix things, find information that they don't have. They get that information. They're able to solve their problem, improve their business, their life, uh, their physical well-being, their health, get the six-pack they want, what, whatever it is. That's what they're coming to YouTube for. Instagram is like likes, comments, clout territory, okay? Who can get the most likes? Who can get the most views? Here's my selfie. 
Here's my emoji. Here's my duck face. Here's how big my butt is. Here's me staging what my life looks like, even though I'm only showing you the top 1% of the top 1%, because if I didn't, it wouldn't go viral and I wouldn't get followers. That's, uh, that's kind of how Instagram is becoming, and it's not good. That's why they took away the like feature, which I believe is um, th th they're testing that. I believe that that like feature, taking that away, is a very left wing sort of liberal ideology. And, and I don't believe that to be a fact that is or, or an opinion that is a fact. Instagram is a very liberal company. I'm not a liberal. I'm a little bit more conservative. In most cases, I don't agree with that. I, in most cases, I would not support a liberal agenda or a liberal ideology. However, Instagram saying, look. People are caring too much about likes, comments, clout. There's some people, there's some people on Instagram that get so much attention and they shouldn't. There's a lot of harm. There's a lot of bad, violent, or negative, or biased media going out there. How somebody should look, how somebody should feel, how somebody should walk, talk, eat, drink, act, dress. And we're basing that off of likes, comments, clout on Instagram. So they took that away. Most of the time I wouldn't agree with that. I'm okay with it. I'm okay with it this time because now you're focused more on is the individual good or bad? Is the individual putting a positive or negative message out there? Not are they or aren't they popular? Now it comes down to the quality and the character of the content. It's Martin Luther King Day, right? It's quality of content. It's quality of character, all right? Not so much, oh, this guy's got 8,600 likes and a 0.028% engagement level. It's shit, unfollow. So you see what I'm saying? There's good and bad for everything. YouTube is going to be the place where you want to be to get out a point, to relay a point. I'm on YouTube here. We're doing the Ozone every Monday, 7 p.m. EST. Most of my YouTube videos are going to be in that seven-minute to 20-minute category. This is really important because I cannot do a seven, a 20. I, I can't get out. Instagram doesn't allow me to. So if I want to be able to educate and teach and really culture people to me, YouTube is that platform. If I want to educate YouTube. If I want to have a brand presence, you know, gram worthy, all right, Instagram esque, that's what Instagram's for. Shorter points conveyed more with more articulation, a little bit more clout on that platform, but social proof and presence. Does the guy have an Instagram? Yeah, I do. 109,000 followers. Okay, cool. He's somebody. Okay, that's what I'm doing Instagram for. Now, Facebook, here's the cool thing about Facebook, and you guys can write this down. You, you guys asked me, I surveyed this out there, okay? I put it out there on Instagram story. I had hundreds of people vote, and they're like, hey, teach us what content works on which platforms to focus on, what content works on each one of these platforms, and how to reach cold audience. So that's what I'm going over on tonight's Ozone. Every Monday, 7 p.m. EST, regardless of where I am, where I'm tuning in from, what part of the world, if I'm traveling, if I'm on a freaking plane, I don't care, committed to doing this show for you guys every Monday, okay? So you're going to see it every Monday. This is, I don't know, our, our 20th episode, something like that, 25th, something like that, okay? Here's the funny thing about Facebook. Facebook has very little organic reach. It's very little organic reach compared to um, Instagram or YouTube, okay? So when you post on Facebook and then you make the same post on Instagram, you could have five times less followers on Instagram and more people are going to see it on Instagram as opposed to Facebook, okay? If you're running a business, Facebook pages literally have zero reach. They have no reach unless you are paying for the engagement. Paying for the engagement means you're running ads, okay? We'll get into that in just a little bit here, right? So Facebook, I'm not looking to market on Facebook, especially for free, thinking that I'm gonna get traction. I'm not, nobody's gonna see the content. So when I post on Facebook, I've got 5,000 friends on Facebook or 4,800, I deleted a few. I've got 2,400 followers or something like that on Facebook. I've got a good engagement level on Facebook, but, it's harder to reach new audiences on Facebook than it is on Instagram and YouTube. These are tips you want to write down. If you want to reach new people on Facebook, what you need to do is you need to constantly be cultivating that friends list. You know, it becomes regurgitated. At some point, all the same people are engaging on your content. Delete a few of them. Go add a few friends that are already following people that kind of do what you do. Go look at people that are, you know, really good in your industry. They're kind of occupying the industry of what you do. Go open up their comments on Facebook. Look at who's commenting. Add them. Start, you know, keep posting your content. And as more people that you're adding come in and see your content, a new person, because you've added them, you've added somebody that is already following or comments and engages on the same type of shit in your niche, okay? Now when you're posting, you're continuing to post, this new person sees this. 
and then they decide, hey, maybe I'm gonna like it, maybe I'm gonna comment. Any new comment or like you get on Facebook, guys, now it's going to show to their friends if their profile's public, and then their friends and their friends. And so if you wanna get your content seen on Facebook, it's a little bit more archaic, it's a little bit more grunge work, it's a little bit more labor intensive, it's definitely worth it. Just know that that's not the platform for you to really go viral on and get out of obscurity for your content to actually be seen. It ain't happening there. If you're paying for the engagement, then by all means, by all means, Facebook. Run engagement ads, run conversion ads, get sales. And it's especially important when you get into a cold audience. We'll talk about that in a second. Now, before we dive on into YouTube and into Instagram, I want to go over a couple of rules for content. When can you cross promote from one platform to the other? All right. Appreciate you guys being here on Instagram. Let's see who we've got on here. We've got Fur La Coco. Fur La Coco. We got Mr. Take YOB. Got RS Cook 213. We got Jesus Sanchez. Or Jesus. Maybe we got Jesus in the house. Hey, Jesus, good to see you, man. Andy Minna, 18. Ruz Bahana. God damn. There's some, there's some names I cannot pronounce on here. Hey, hey, by the way, if you're requested to be on our lives, I'm not gonna pick you up on my lives unless you give me a reason. If you want to be on the Ozone Live right now and you want to be talking to me, give me a reason. Why should, why should I hit the, hey, yeah, I'll let you be on my live. Let me know. What's your business? What are you doing? What are your goals? How serious are you about investing in yourself, your future, your business? Let me know that, okay? Appreciate you guys being on here. So, hey, YouTube, what's up, guys? How you guys doing? Hey, those of you that are on YouTube, if you just popped on, it's the ozone. You're late. You can't be late to this stuff. More people showing up late. Jeez, come on. All right, here's what I want you to do, YouTube. Share this. There's a little icon at the button, bottom. Share this, okay? Share this video out there on Facebook. Send it to somebody. I don't care, okay? Secondly, let me know what you're doing, okay? What is your business? How can I help you? This is your opportunity to get some of my time. Ask me questions. Put it in the chat here. What can I do for you? Please let me know in the comments here. I'll be happy to help, all right? You understand what I'm saying? Let's go. Jaden Dean, 1989. All right. So what can you do when it comes to like, can you can you take a piece of content on YouTube, put it on Facebook, put it on Instagram, vice versa? Here's what I can tell you. Any content that you put on Instagram can be put on Facebook, not necessarily the other way around. It's one of those things like, uh, I'm probably going to get this wrong here, but like uh, a square can be a rectangle, but a rectangle can't be a square. Like a square is a type of rectangle, but a rectangle is not a square. You understand what I'm saying? So you cannot post necessarily Facebook content to Instagram. You can do it the other way around. The Instagram platform is a little bit more biased to what gets posted on there compared to Facebook. Okay? So whatever does well on Instagram, know that it can and will do well on Facebook. Not the other way around. Okay? YouTube. When you're making YouTube videos and you're putting content out there, here's the thing is like, YouTube, you're making videos, you got a little bit of an intro, YouTube listens to what you say, they search for a keyword, you plug your video by saying, here's the three things we're going to talk about, and throughout this, you're going to learn this, this, and this, and in a little bit, I'm going to be doing this case study and showing you this, and by the end of this video, you're going to be able to do this, and by the way, don't go anywhere because you're going to learn this. YouTube, you got to string people along for that duration, then you plug in, hey, make sure to smash that like button if you haven't already, make sure to subscribe to the channel, and here's why, if you want more content like this, I've included a link in the description. So when you start making videos like that on YouTube, it's a little harder to take that and repurpose it for Instagram for a few reasons. Because if you actually took that whole video, posted it over on Instagram, one, you'd only be able to post it on IGTV because it's over a minute long. And two, when you're saying smash the like button, subscribe, like, comment, you put it over on Instagram, it makes no sense. So you have to put it into the right context. So that's when, when we're trying to grow a brand online. If you're trying to become extremely resourceful, with building that brand, then one of the best things you can do is like look for opportunities in your content to actually make that cross promotion happen. Okay. Once again, pictures that go viral on Instagram, get you really good engagement, get well likes, comments, clout, all that different stuff. Then you're going to be able to take that same picture, whatever it is, post over on Facebook and do fine. All right. But don't be testing content on Facebook and then put it over on Instagram. Instagram's the, the platform you got to appeal to. If it does well on Instagram, get it over on Facebook. 
Okay. A lot of times what I'll do, and you guys can see over here on Instagram, feel free. If you're on YouTube, feel free to look at my Instagram after this. Okay. Make sure you give me a follow if you haven't already, because you're going to pick up more content, valuable eight figure information there as well. But if you look at my Instagram content, a lot of times you'll see I do info videos. What I simply do is like, if I'm recording a YouTube video, I tell my editor, and maybe you're editing your own videos. I'm like, Hey, look for like, go through my YouTube videos, look for a 30, 40, 60 second clip that you can be one-to-one. That's in a YouTube video where I articulate a point extremely well. Extract that out, adopt it to where it'll work in the fa- or excuse me, in the Instagram platform. We do that. So we'll just take a little 60 second segment or 30 second segment of a YouTube video and we'll use it inside of my Instagram, right? And now I got it. Now sometimes I'll be like, look, take a few clips, put them together, make them a couple minutes long. We'll spin it into an IGTV video, right? So as long as I put it into the proper context. As long as I'm like, look, if I want to take this YouTube video, put it on Instagram, I can't say like, like, comment, subscribe, you know, whatever, whatever, whatever. It doesn't make any sense. So what content works for which platforms? Recap is you just have to put it into the proper context. Step one. Step two, please realize that what works on Facebook won't necessarily work on Instagram, but what works on Instagram will work on Facebook. Okay. Rectangle, square, square, rectangle. All right. YouTube, if you want to put it, on Instagram or on Facebook, you got it. You got to transcribe. You got to extract those points and only put it where it makes sense. All right. You can't be saying like, comment, subscribe, all that different stuff. Do you understand what I'm saying? All right, cool. So now here is the next thing. What content works? Here's some tips that I can give for you guys. All right. Somebody asked me if I'm nervous. Am I nervous? You think I'm nervous? I'm never nervous. I'm never nervous, man. I've been doing Facebook Lives, YouTube, Instagram Lives thousands of times. Woman, I'm not nervous. Hey, appreciate you being on here. Check your DM. I messaged you. I got to check for a reply, all right? I see you, okay? What works as far as the type of content, okay? Let's just run through this. On Instagram, if you're posting videos, that thumbnail, it all starts with the thumbnail. Here's what happens is when you're scrolling on Instagram, Think of what makes you stop. Like my explore page is all motorcycles, cars, and dogs. I like, I love dogs. I love motorcycles. I love cars. So when I'm scrolling, I will, I will stop if I see a cool car or a cute dog or something like that. That's an impression. So that thumbnail or that picture has to be what we call a scroll stopper. You understand what I'm saying? It's got to be a scroll stopper. Okay. So it stops me for some reason. What about that thumbnail entice me? What about that dog? Maybe it's a freaking wiener dog and it's staring back at you and it's got different colored fur around its butt. It's just, it's freaking like, it's, it's cute. You don't understand why it's staring at you. You stop, you click on it. All of a sudden you're reading the caption. Pretty soon you're liking, commenting and following, okay? So you have to have a hook. You have to have a graphical hook. Your pictures should, should speak volumes, okay? Your pictures should do this. They should tell a story. They should illustrate a point. They should extract an emotion, okay? I got a picture on my Instagram right now. I'm staring off in the mountains. My pants are at my ankles, and I just got my boxers on. It's like, what the heck? Why is he doing that? That's weird. Maybe I should unfollow him. I triggered a reaction, though. I made you react to my photo. Have you guys seen the... um, Have you guys seen the pictures on Instagram lately where there's just a guy holding a cardboard sign just like this in the middle of the street. And it says stuff like guac should be free. Guacamole should be free. It's the most random thing, but it struck out to you because you're like, yo, what's this, what's this guy doing here? Like he's got a picture above his head. Why is that? All right. It made you stop. That created an impression. The more impressions you create, the more Instagram is going to show your content. So make your content impressionable. All right. Here's what a lot of girls do. They're like, Hey, my butt's so big. Peach emoji. That leaves an impression. You get a bunch of the horny guys, all right? Maybe you're wearing some outrageous clothing. Maybe you got a low-cut shirt on. Maybe like, look at my boobies. I'm, I'm, I'm saying a lot of girls do that, okay? Same for guys. Same for guys. Guys are just as vain sometimes. They're just as stupid sometimes. Guys, guys are like, huh, huh, you know? They do that shit. I, I ain't got nothing to show off here. I got a tattoo here. I'm a slim, slender guy. I can bench pretty good. I can do pretty good. Bench like 50, 60 pounds more than my weight, and I run a mile damn fast. But you're not going to catch me doing 
some of this this shit and then acting like I'm talking on my phone and oh the entrepreneur lifestyle you know we work deals all the time fuck it's all bullshit it's all bullshit okay but it leaves an impression trigger an emotion okay trigger an emotion your thumbnail of your video should be the most enticing part it should make somebody go what the heck what's going on here i want to click it i want to watch it i'm at least going to start watching the video i'm scrolling on instagram all right i scroll through let's do this okay i'm going to go here I'm going to start scrolling through Instagram. I'm going to scroll through right here. Okay. I'm just going to look. Nothing's catching me yet. Nothing's catching me yet. Ah, maybe I'll stop. You will be the first millionaire in your family. 2010, 2019. At least makes me want to look. At least makes me want to look. I'm going to scroll farther. Let's scroll farther. Okay. Interesting. Here's a guy. With a Lamborghini fishing, sitting on the hood. Guy with a Lamborghini fishing, sitting on the hood. I'm going to stop because that's uncommon. It's triggering an emotion. Leaves an impression, causes somebody to stop, makes them start consuming the content. So if you're asking right now, like, (laughs) if you're asking right now, like, what content works, what I would suggest is extract patterns. Reese Gick, pay me money. I see you. You owe me some money. You owe me money, man. All right. Millionaire Mafia ain't just Millionaire Mafia. I'm a pop your ass. I'm just kidding, man. I'm not Mafia. That's just the name of the company, okay? Not Mafia. All right. What works for you? Look at patterns. Look at the most impressionable content that you've had. Go into your analytics. Try to extract patterns. Is it videos that people connect with the most? Is it your pictures that rank the best? Maybe your infographics are what what what, what gets saved the most on Instagram. Look at patterns. Second thing you can do. Go look at people occupying your industry, dominating your niche, dominating your market. What are they doing on Instagram? All right. Take note of that. I'm not saying copy. Take note of it. What is working for them? Maybe suggestively, maybe start using that a little bit. Okay. That's Instagram. Now, the next thing is if the videos on Instagram, especially YouTube, like you need to, you need to, you need to keep duration up. Okay. Duration can can come from, especially if you're recording your own content, having multiple camera angles. It switches all the time. When when frames change, it captures people's attention again. All right. Maybe you're doing some weird shit. Maybe you're up in here. Maybe you're up in the camera. Maybe I'm over here. Maybe I'm in your face. All right. You understand what I'm saying? Anything you can do to keep duration up. It's got a hook. It's got to be compelling. It's got to be captivating. It needs to trigger an emotion. It needs to be thought evoking. It needs to make somebody look back at the last 59 seconds of their life on Instagram and go, Jesus, I literally just, I can't get that minute back. I just watched this cute puppy waddle off carrying a stick eight times his body length. Okay. That's the type of content that works. Whether it's entrepreneurial, whether you're in the gym, showing people how to do ab workout, a booty workout, shit, I don't care. Make it captivating. That's all. Okay. Now, cold audience. I'm going to get into cold audience for a second in a second, but I'm going to answer your questions first. YouTube, if you have questions, I suggest you get them on here. I'm trying to look at comments. You're a little light today. You guys are a little quiet. Are you deaf? You're blind? You're mute? You forgot how to type? Are you quadriplegic? Is this going on right now? Huh? You trying to type? Trying to type and you can't? I bet you you can reach the button. Try it. Hit the button. Send me something. Type me something, YouTube. Instagram. What do we got going on? All right. Let me look. Let me look and see what you guys got going on. Pop my arms out. Okay. So let's see. Future Nations Fitness. Yeah, message me. I'll check my DMs after this. I'll see what you got going on. Somebody says, can you give us some tips on selling in the DMs? Goes down in the DM. I'll give you tips. My DMs make me money every single day. I make thousands of dollars every single day on Instagram. People are so focused on likes, comments, clout. Here's the here's the reality. Here's the sad truth. Instagram bans people all the time. They get rid of their accounts. They put them back up. They play unfair. You cannot be a bitch about the unfairness. You cannot give the algorithm all the power in the world over you and your business. It's complete bullshit. If you're saying an algorithm is going to stop you from doing business, you are a weak individual. I don't care about likes, comments, clouds. I had my Instagram taken away from me for six months. I'm in a ban. I'm in a huge ban. And my income goes up every day because of the power I have to close, because of my sales skills, because of the content I put out there, because of how genuine I am, because I don't sugarcoat, because I tell the truth, because I'm a damn good seller. 
and I have phenomenal products. I close people in my Instagram DMs every single day and my engagement is shot. It is fucked. It is absolute garbage. But my account still grows. People still connect with me. I still work deals. People still see, see me as an authority and I'm still able to help people every single day. And at some point, I'm not there yet. But here's something that I realize is at some point, my social proof and my testimonials, my marketing effort, my advertising money will overpower the algorithm. At some point, you cannot stop somebody that walks in onto a stage and speaks in front of 10,000 people that decide to all follow you at once. Do you understand what I'm saying? You understand what I'm saying? So do not give the algorithm so much power. Put the power on yourself to be able to close people, to be able to network with people and DMs, all that stuff. So yes, to answer your question, I will absolutely talk to you about closing people in the DMs. I want to address reaching a cold audience. Okay, I want to address reaching a cold audience. There's two ways to reach a cold audience. I'm going to go over both of them, all right? First thing is with reaching a cold audience is the only way you're going to reach them is if you're one, either outreaching outreaching and networking cold, or secondly, you're running ads to a cold audience. There's three ways, okay? You're outreaching, running ads to a cold audience, or you are um, uh, getting your content to go viral, which is seen by a cold audience, okay? So you're either reaching out and trying to pull deals, bring people into your brand, your network, you're running ads to a cold audience, or your content is going viral enough to where it's being seen by new eyes. See what I'm saying? Getting your content to go viral and being seen by new eyes is dependent on consistency, is dependent on algorithm, is dependent on posting time, and is dependent on your ability to create extremely awesome content and be resourceful, okay? That's an art, and I think it's an art worth having, uh, being able to publish, create really good content. I think that's very necessary. I think that's something that you want to possess and have people in your company to be able to help you do if you want to be able to grow a sustainable brand. Now, with that being said, if you want to be able to secure your ability to grow and sustain an awesome, a profitable, a sustainable online business, then you want to outreach and you want to run ads. Okay. So outreaching simply means take your niche, whatever you're in. Somebody give me a niche. Okay. So for example, let's, let's check this out here. So I'm a pick on you, future nations, fitness, pick on you. Okay. So you've got a fitness account. Now, I got to check my DMs and see what you were saying to me. But I was asking you earlier, like, what's your market? Is it females? Is it men? What product? What service? If you're trying to hammer and you're trying to get income through, what you'd be doing is you'd be searching hashtags in your niche. Fitness, booty, motivation, fitness motivation, gym, gym rat, gym life. And you'd be looking at the people that are engaging on that content in your niche. And you'd be going out after them. You'd maybe drop a random like, a random comment on one of their posts. Okay. And then from there, you would basically hit them up. Start a conversation with them in the DMs. My initial conversation, I want to be a voice note. Because people people typically don't um, expect you to, to send a voice note. Nobody does that. No, Very few people are willing to do it. So already you've stepped out of you're, – you're, you're already – you're already uh, emerging above other people in your market, okay? And so you send a message and you're like, hey, what's up, Henry? How's it going, man? Hey, I appreciate you. I see that you're an active enthusiast in the gym niche. Hey, that's awesome, man. I'd love to be able to help you with your goals. What's your fitness questions? Do you, ha do you have any fitness questions, first of all? But it seems like you're pretty active. Hey, let me know. I'm all about helping the fellow gym enthusiast, whatever, okay? Maybe it's somebody that's engaging on a luxury car account and you've got a luxury page and you notice that they are like an active commenter. They're always commenting on these cars and stuff. You see them in the community all the time. Search that hashtag, hashtag Bugatti, hashtag cars, hashtag luxury. Maybe in your real estate, hashtag real estate, Miami listings. You see the people that are always coming. Oh, honey, I want this home. You're a realtor. You need to pick that deal up. You need to go grab them. All right. You need to go grab that person. Hey, I see that you're interested in Miami real estate. Awesome. You know, where are you thinking about getting a house? Is it going to be in the Miami area or where else? I freaking love the weather here. Don't you just trigger a reaction. Get them to respond. All right. Start initiating conversations with DMs through voice notes. 
you're going to have a higher ratio, a higher response rate. Here's another, here's another tip for you, okay? Here's another tip for you. I notice that people will comment on my polls all the time or they'll vote on my polls on Instagram all the time. They're like, yes, I want to do business with you. But then they, know, they don't follow through. People don't check their DMs near as much as they do their likes, comments, and clout, okay? They love to, they love to feel good. They love to get the attention. So if you comment on their last post, check your DM, fool. They will see that. And most of the time, they'll respond. So you want a higher response rate? Go over to the comments in their last post and say, hey, check your DM, bitch. They'll respond. All right? Don't, don't say bitch. You, they probably won't respond. They might get mad. Okay? Now, the other thing, cold audience, ads. Okay? How many of you guys think that, that, that ads are a waste of money or time or that you shouldn't run ads? All right? Smash the like button on YouTube if you think you shouldn't run ads. Actually, I shouldn't get any more likes. I should not get any more likes for that right now. All right? You need to be running ads. Absolutely need to be running ads. A lot of you guys have this concept that ads are a waste of money. No. Here's the reality. Good ads make money. Period. The solution is create good ads. That's it. It's create good ads. Create an ad that, look at the ads that you watch. Look at the ads that you've watched. And you've watched 30 seconds of a minute, two minutes. You wasted the last five minutes of your life watching an ad. I didn't say that it's easy. I said, make good ads. Do whatever it takes. I'm not here to, to entitle or give fuel or energy to easy. If you want an easy, unfollow me. Don't subscribe to my YouTube. Never talk to me again. I'm not here to make it easy for you. It should be hard. Business is hard. The guys that win work very hard, okay? Make good ads. Put them out there. Start understanding how to target audiences. Here's what's really cool is on Facebook, there's a term called flex marketing. Here's what this means. Let me give you, an, I, I would just, I'm not going to teach you ads right now. That could be hours. You want to learn ads? You need to invest with me. Spend a thousand bucks, buy my training, get my mentorship, okay? Spend a thousand bucks, put your money where your mouth is, decide and actually take action for once and work with me. That's how you'll learn ads. Work with me, okay? Because there's a, there's a lot to know. There's a lot to know. You want to go it alone? Good, great. You'll burn through your money. You'll spend more time and it still won't work, okay? Invest with me. Get out a thousand bucks. Pay me. I'll teach you how to run ads. I'll mentor you and we'll get your business going, okay? That's the offer. Those of you that want it, you need to DM me. Or shoot me an email after this. Let's get it rolling, okay? Here's how powerful ads are. There's a term called flex marketing on Facebook. And flex marketing simply refers to this. Let's say, for example, and as a matter of fact, somebody could give me a niche. Give, give me a niche. Give me a, a sport or, or an interest or something like that. Go ahead and let me know here on Instagram. Like, give me, give me a sport, a niche, an interest, something like that. Let me know, okay? Let's just say, for example, it's uh, golf, okay? Most people know who Tiger Woods is. Most people know who Tiger Woods is. You do not have to be a golfer to know who Tiger Woods is, right? Now, there's another golfer named Phil Mickelson. And Phil Mickelson, you might know a little bit more about golfing if you know who Phil Mickelson is. You might not be a golfer, but you probably know a little bit more about golfing if you know who Phil Mickelson is, right? You don't have to be a golfer, though. So if I know who Tiger Woods is and I know who Phil Mickelson is, I don't have to be a golfer, but I might be slightly more in tune to golfing, okay? Now, if I want to take it a step further, say that I manufacture golf balls. And my, my angle, my goal is to sell golf balls, okay? Let's say there's a guy named Bob Smith. Bob, Bob Anderson Smith, who developed a golf ball back in 1953, okay? Flex marketing allows me to run ads to people who know who Tiger Woods is, know who Phil Mickelson is, and also know who Bob Anderson Smith is, who designed a golf ball in 1953. Could we agree that if you know the name of a guy who designed a golf ball in 1953, that that probably means that you are a golfer? Therefore, if I know how to run ads, and instead of saying ads aren't for me, they don't work, I now, being the person that sells a golf ball, can put it right in front of somebody who I know is a golfer. And I can even take it a step further where it only populates in front of people based on their search terms that have searched terms like that in the last 30 days or in the last seven days. So it's fresh. It's fresh. 
So then please tell me why you don't think ads can be profitable for you. The only reason keeping you from profit is your lack of understanding, is the fact that you do not know ads. That's a cold audience. They never heard of you before. Never heard of me before. I run cold ads all the time. We spend up to $4,000 a day on ads right now. Not because it doesn't work. Do you think I'd spend $4,000 a day if I was losing money every day? No. No, I, w I wouldn't. I wouldn't, okay? <laughs> okay, it's like somebody else. Business, okay? Business. If I wanted to run ads, and I wanted to run ads in front of people that had attended a, uh, a college for business. So I put it there. And then I left another, like it has to only run, I want this ad only running in front of people that attended uh, Yale Business School. And I only want to target people that are making $50,000 or more per year right now. And I only want to target those that attended Yale Business School are making 50 grand a month or more right now. And in the last 30 days have researched something like home-based business or how to start an online business. It's cold, reaching a cold audience but they are damn targeted. You understand what I'm saying? This is the Ozone, guys. Every Monday, 7 p.m. EST, I come to you live on YouTube, Instagram. You are lucky because I'm not normally here on Instagram doing this, so you're picking up some extra value. You guys are able to call in, ask questions, and let me know what I can do to help you guys. Now, I'm gonna be taking your questions. Instagram, let me know what we got going on here. What are your questions? I'll spend a couple minutes here answering your questions, so please, let me know. Drop your questions down here. Let's see what you got. Let's see how I can help you guys. If you are interested in starting an online business, if you want to learn how to use social media to scale a business, if you want to learn how to monetize social media, www.benoberg.com forward slash go. That's your deal. That's your discount for today. I will not offer it again. I've got some bonus offers I'm going to be getting in there. When you purchase today, you're going to get the Millionaire Mafia Executive Pen, all right? This is a silver and gold pen here. Executive Pen. It's got the name, limited production. There's only 40 of these in existence, okay? Would you purchase today, www.benoberg.com forward slash go. You can get the Millionaire Mafia Pen. Only 40 in existence, limited production, silver and gold. See this? All right, that's what you're getting. In addition to the entire training and my mentorship program, you go to www.benoberg.com forward slash go. You get the executive pen. It's only 40 in existence. You'll be one of 40 people that has this silver and gold executive pen. And you will get the Millionaire Mafia Planner. Okay, this is going to be your planner to help stay true to your habits and rituals, to help come up with habits and rituals, to help you have the daily disciplines to get to a seven or eight figure per year success level. If you want that deal, it's here now. It will be gone after this and I will not offer it again. www.benoberg.com forward slash go. Billy Tomaseo says, do you utilize trending hashtags in certain niches? When I'm using hashtags, this is what I do. I use hashtags relative to my particular piece of content and relative to my niche, okay? So if I'm posting an info video about scaling business, my hashtags are gonna be about that particular info video, business, business 101, business training, sales training, business psychology, online business, starting an online brand, salesman, salesmanship, business 101, business sense, business tips, business tricks, business investing, okay? And then I'm gonna have hashtags relative to my niche, entrepreneur, entrepreneurship, high ticket closing, closing, business consulting, business, marketing agency, okay? That's what I'm gonna do. And I try to staircase it where I use a few hashtags that are only used you know, a few thousand times and a few that are 10, 15, 20,000 times and a few that are 20 to 50K and a few that are 50 to 100 because I want to hedge my opportunity or my chances of possibly being able to rank with that content, okay? Hope that answers your questions. Guys, get the deal. Benoberg.com forward slash go. You get my entire Instagram mastery training. You get the mentorship program. You get access to our bi-weekly webinars where you get to come on, ask questions directly with me. I help you build your marketing structure. I help you with your daily method of operation. I help you build your e-commerce business. I help you scale your personal brand. I help you get more leads and sales as a realtor. I help you take your brick and mortar online. I teach you the art and science of sales, the art of the deal, the art of closing, sales skills. And today. Included in the deal, you get the Millionaire Mafia Executive Pen, one of only 40 ever produced in existence, limited production, and you get the Millionaire Mafia Planner, which you'll be of only one of 20 people that actually have that.
www.benobry.com forward slash go. I appreciate you guys being on here. This is the Ozone every Monday, 7 p.m. EST. Make sure to be here on the next one. Make sure to pick up the deal. Benobrick.com forward slash go. And I will see you inside the training. Appreciate you guys and have an awesome night.